Okay, hello. Um, basically, I know I've done a few tutorials on how to use it, how to use the dynamics on Death and Devil, but I've never done one in a real scene. And there's a few things that you should be aware of when you do bring it into the real scene. So, you finish animating like this scene, and you load up the dynamics box, and then uh, the first thing you do is you're going to turn on the oh. You see, this is um, what I wanted to show. It's not a problem. It's what will happen and what you've got to do is um, so if you go down to the dynamic initial states and uh, set this to minus 25 or something like that um, basically I find it's easier just to set these all down to zero because then it pings back quite quickly and goes to its starting position so now that you've done that you can highlight all of them and hit set initial state. So now they're all they're all at that point at the beginning. So I'll set this back to one. You've got to press set start frame, otherwise it doesn't do it. So now that's set, I'm going to put these back. So two point two three. Three, I think. So now, you can see the hairs moving, the hoods moving, so the dynamics is working how it should be. Um, it's quicker if you turn it onto proxy. I think I've noticed. Yeah, it's keyed in, so it might be helpful if we um, make it so we can't key this. But basically, so now quite happy with that. Um. And then when you're um, so when you're happy with the animation, so this is just a quick test. But when you're happy with this, basically, I'll do a quick play blast of this. I'll pause it first, and then. Okay, so this is the result. So. Once you've done all of that, literally, most probably the easiest thing to do is it, once you're really happy, or if there's any tweaks you want to do, then it's most probably easiest to bake it out. So if you highlight all of them, put the start frame, which is one, end frame, which is 83, and then Bake simulation. I'll pause it again. So yes, I do. You can see it uh, working. So it's doing each frame. I'll pause it again. Okay, it's over now. Um, so if I turn off all the dynamics, should still move. Yeah, you can see that uh, it's successfully baked to it. Um, yeah, there was um, a few comments saying that the uh, tail bounces a bit too much at the end here. So there now. So that's the perfect time to 
do the tweaking of the animation so Okay, yeah. What I just needed to check then was uh, there was already keys on this, so I just got a bit confused as to why it was key, but it's because they were on there already. So if I so about there, doesn't seem to flick out as badly from this view so that's one benefit when you baked it you can scrub through it seems okay to me but yeah obviously I can tweak it but that's the basis of it um, I hope that's helped well I hope it will help okay, cheers